All right, so we finna do another. We finna do another um, deleted reaction to apparently Aiden Ross and well, I think what this shit been going on for like two weeks now, maybe three weeks. I'm not sure. Um, a couple of niggas responded to Aiden saying, "Bro, you can't come to L.A." And apparently Aiden said, "Bro, when I see you, I'm slapping a dog out your mouth." You feel me? Recently made headlines due to his aggressive response to claims that he has been banned from LA by affiliates of Kendrick Lamar. This situation stems from Aiden's public support for Drake amongst the ongoing feud between the two artists. So apparently Aiden Ross and his friend were doing an IRL at some club or casino. I don't know where the hell it was. Not like us started to play, Aiden acted as if it was a direct shot to the gut. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Bothered as if someone just stole his female. This shit is ass, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but why did he have to smack his lip like that? Hold up. As if it was a direct shot to the gut. I mean, look at him. Bothered as if someone just stole his female. This shit is ass, bro. I'ma just be honest. Whoever gets this bothered over a song needs help. I don't give. Yeah, no cap. Um, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I feel like the only time you should be bothered like this by a fucking song if the person, like, let's just say, for example, right? For example, like, let's just say if Aiden Ross and Drake were, like, best of friends, like, like bestie, like, homie type shit locked in, you know, day one type shit, like, like, anytime buddy come, well, because Drake is from Canada, so let's just say for any time Drake come, they do a concert, L.A., uh, Texas, whatever, right? And for every time Buddy touched down and, you know, if he hit up your phone like, hey, what's up? I'm in town. I need you to slide up on me. I'm having a concert. You got a uh, back pass, backstage pass, you and your group, uh, you and your fans, whatever the case is, you know, pull up on me type shit. You know, that's kind of love shit. Like, that's, that's showing somebody that you really fuck with somebody. That's showing somebody that, like, no, we're locked in. That's my boy. That's, that's day one type shit. You feel me? But if a nigga's not doing nothing like that for you, like, not a damn thing. Why do you even give a fuck? Like, nigga, you are a content creator, bro. You feel me? Like, give a fuck about a Drake. Can't stand his ass. But if a Drake song comes on, I don't even think twice about it. Like, the fuck is just a song? His friend Cheezer, another YouTuber, began singing the lyrics out loud. When all of a sudden, Drake makes a comment during their live. We're gonna pull up on Cheezer because he, uh, he basically like was rapping to not like us and shit, you know? And this is the shit right here, bro. Drake. Bro, you're not a thug. You're not a gangster. You're a pop star. To me, you're a pop star. To me, you make kids song. You make kids and girl songs, bro. So. You beefing with the wrong nigga. You beefing, not, I won't even say beefing, but you basically trying to pick up, you trying to pick, pick on a YouTuber, bro. Like, you're basically, you're basically, like, in my opinion, it's like, okay, nigga, just because of, like, saying, if I do a, a shit ton of reaction to Drake and fucking Kendrick drop not like us, I'm just supposed to not react to that. I'm just supposed to not think to that. That shit, nigga. You don't pay my bills, bro. Me doing content pays my bills. Me putting myself out there pays my bills. Me talking about your situation, your dumb, your dumb way of moving pays my bills. You feel me? But you not like physically putting money in my pocket. I don't need to respect you. I don't need to. What the hell, nigga? The nigga that you really should be beefing with, you ain't even saying shit to him. So, in my opinion, I just feel like all oh, this shit is goofy, bro. Oh, yeah, fuck Cheezer Drake. Oh, God, I'm standing with OVO, man. <laughs> Let me know, Drake. Drake, what you want us to do on Cheezer yeah, yeah. Drake? <laughs> Drake, give me a band. I'll stand on his body and shit the head. Oh, God, Drake. Oh, God. Cheezer, drop the Addy. Yo! Oh, don't worry. We can get it for you. Oh, yeah, I got it right now. Uh, wait. We can get that, Drake. Don't worry. <laughs> Drake, all I want is an OVO chain. It could literally be moist tonight. Just throw one on my neck. Oh, God. I'll put that nigga for you. Oh, God. Of course, Drake. 
throw and oh huh boy you, you just gonna slurp every last single drop huh you ain't gonna let a single drop fall huh you gonna slurp every last one of it ain't you Rick is trolling, asking for Cheezer's address for singing along. However, Aiden later doubled down on it, and Cheezer checked him about it. I talked to you. I'm not going to Canada now. I'm not even kidding. I'm not going. I'm gonna send you a fucking birthday dude, note, and that's it. Dude, I'm not going there. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Kill you. I got a mom that loves me. I got a dad that loves me. I'm not going there and getting stabbed in the neck for clout. No. You're not gonna I'm gonna die, dude. I'm gonna, send you, I'm gonna send you a birthday card, and that's that. I could be wrong, but Aiden Rod found like the type of nigga that would sacrifice his own homeboy, bro. No cap. Like that nigga look like he would sacrifice his home his own homeboy, bro. Like, I got a partner named I got a partner named Snowman, but he really go by James, right? Me and him, we can see eye to eye on a lot of things and me and him can disagree about a lot of things, bro. But I doubt in a situation like this, we're gonna be against each other, bro. Like, nah. This shit is just fake, bro. Aiden Ross is just fake. Dude, you know he's a good guy. He's not gonna do no weird shit, bro. Like, you come on. He's, Listen, I'm not saying he's not gonna he's touch your little, you know. Retarded goons. No, no. Listen, dude. He, he, come on, cheese. You think genuinely I'm gonna let anything bad happen to you, bro? Yes. He will let anything happen to you. Yes. A nigga. Listen, if somebody will say, do you really think I let. Real nigga won't even say that, bro. Listen, a real friend, listen, a real friend, that's all they gonna tell you. Nigga, you already know if you jump, I'm jumping. The fuck? But, nigga, Aiden, you already on Drake meat so damn hard, I do not, I would not believe you, bro. I feel like, I feel like if I was in homeboy shoes, we go to Canada, all this shit is just gonna be content. If I do get my ass whooped, Aiden's not gonna do shit, but just record the content, bro. For clout, God, yeah. For clout money, you don't give a fuck. Because, honestly, bro, that's nothing to play about. There are literally individuals that are gullible as hell and willing to do anything for clout. And if you and your friends are saying you will slide on Cheezer for an OVO chain, whether you're playing or not, that's not cool. You're literally putting his life at risk. Some people don't comprehend satire or dark humor and will take what you're saying seriously. So later on, Aiden joins a stream with academics and also a Toronto rapper by the name of Top 5. Me and Drake are gonna link up in a couple of days. And we're gonna do this podcast. Oh and, shit. And we're gonna play not like us video. We're gonna look at every nigga in the video. And we're gonna do homework. <laughs> I know y'all tired of me pausing it, but who gives the fuck, right? Y'all watching this shit for a reason. It's called a reaction. But, um, am I, re like, honestly, we are gonna link up in a couple of weeks. We're gonna do a podcast. We're gonna, we're gonna play not like us. And we're gonna watch everybody that's singing not like us. Like, bro. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't think I would. Yeah, I ain't even finna. Nah, for real though, I wouldn't even take Toronto people as a fucking threat, only because it's Canada, and I don't know what Canada have to fucking give besides I hear what medical, free medical, like nigga, like shit. I ain't gonna lie, I would move to Canada just because of that shit, nigga. I got a hip problem. I need my hip fixed, so if I ain't got a place for that shit, I do it. But um, on some real shit though, but like. It's like, it's like Drake, it's like Kendrick and his goon linking up talking about we're finna do a podcast, we're finna watch everybody that's, that's singing um, Push Up, we're finna watch everybody that, bro, that shit is childish as fuck, bro, you sound like a little kid, bro, like, your man got his ass, no diddy, beat, chewed up by Drake, uh, by Kendrick, and all you are, like, y'all salty as fuck, bro, you feel me, so it's like, I would rather be more scared of Cali, like Cali niggas than Toronto niggas, bro. And I only say Cali niggas because what isn't Cali like gangland nigga? Ain't that the home of the the gangbangers and type of shit? So nigga, I'll be more like, come on, bro. Cali got more politics than fucking uh uh Canada. Like, come on, bro. All these little videos and all these little clips that we watch, yeah, it's funny, it's entertainment, but come on, nigga talking about you can't wear this color, you can't wear that hat, you can't wear... You don't hear that shit in Toronto. So I would be more scared to go to Cali than Toronto, my boy. You feel me? So, and... Uh, We're gonna look for the niggas. 
I don't fuck around, play around by Aubrey. That's my bro. So top five, whose real name is Hassan Ali, was locked up for a while, facing some heavy accusations in connection with the murder that case. He was accused of being involved in the shooting of a 20-year-old student by the name of Hashim Omar Hashi. I probably brutalized your name, and I, you know, that's my bad. Here's the twist. Dude got released because the judge ruled that some key evidence couldn't be used. The charges were dropped just like that. And here's where it gets even crazier. After he got out, Top 5 went on Instagram and straight up thanked Drake for helping pay his legal fees. So Drake out here covering lawyer bills for him. Allegedly, that is. We, we, we say it allegedly, all right? <laughs> but then Top 5 edited the post and removed Drake's name, like trying to make it disappear or something. Now, obviously, this whole situation is causing a lot of drama. The victim's family, especially Hashi's cousins, is furious. They're calling out Drake, saying it's disrespectful to their family's pain, and they said it's a wild move for Drake to be involved like this. As for Drake, he hasn't said anything yet about the whole situation. Just silence, which is making everything even more intense. It's, it's kind of crazy. So, we don't necessarily know if Drake paid for Top 5 to come out due to his issues with Kendrick Lamar in LA, or if he just knew him previously. Maybe it's one of his family friends or family members and he did them a favor. You never know. Well, Top 5 made threats towards Kendrick Lamar and Metro Boomin during a live stream with DJ Academics and Aiden Ross. Yo, listen, man. I just want two people right now, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, it's not a threat. I'm just looking for Metro Boomin and Kendrick Lamar. I'm doing my homework right now. I'm doing my task. On We're looking for Kendrick and Metro Boomin, if not a threat. The fuck you looking for me for if I don't even know you like that, kid? You ain't looking for me to talk. Like, let's be real. Like, what, like, you're not an artist, so what the fuck do we even need to compensate about, bro? Equivalent of clout chasing. On them right now. Nothing incriminating. I'm just looking for it. If you ran, in, if you ran to Metro Boomin or Kendrick, what would that conversation such a woman one on one. Yeah, I don't want no weapons, nothing. I'm knocking the fuck. We're putting a bag on that fight. Still, can't you try sleeping and can't you, you go, you, you pass the border. You pass the border, man. Chubb's calling me. You pass the border, man. You pass the border, man. <laughs> yo, hold on. Yo, yo, wait. So, I hear that Kendrick soon, soon forward to some restaurant called New Ho King. He gonna come for the the, the fried rice. I went there. I went there. So, Aiden Ross, you think Kendrick, yo, I will quit rapping if Kendrick Lamar goes to New York King without Top five the rapper? And leaves with a chain. So, you don't think he could go there, do his little push ups, <laughs> eat, eat his fried rice, and you know what I mean, rap not like us at New Ho King? <laughs> That's the last place he's ever gonna be. <laughs> And honestly, this is doing way too much. Sore losers type B. Can't take a L, so it's time to war up. Okay, now, don't forget, the East Coast and West Coast war between Tupac and Biggie took them both out. However, ironically, Tupac beating on an LA Crip got him knocked off, and Biggie was knocked off by the Bloods that worked in the LAPD. The West Coast gangs basically took them both out. The LA Crips, and then the Bloods for revenge. No one from New York did anything about it. Didn't slide for Biggie at all, but the Bloods did slide for Tupac. Don't forget that. The West Coast don't play when it comes to gang banging politics. So keep ticking. Eventually, it's about to go off. He's from Canada, ain't it, Russ? Nah, he Jewish, nigga. Where he from? He like fuck. He like Florida. He like turn this shit off. This shit trash. So Aiden Ross dripping too. Oh, for sure, nigga. What's up, yo, bitch? On September 26, Aiden Ross reacted to rumors that he was banned from LA, allegedly due to his association with Drake and because of the stream he did with Cheezer in Top Five. Banned from LA? I'm not banned from LA, bro. I wish somebody would. I. Why do we do this shit? Not even we, cause I ain't even, who the fuck am I? I ain't even the government or, or the mayor, right? Y'all niggas stay saying, oh, you're banned from this city, you're banned from this state, you can't come here. Like, why do y'all do that? If you really want to show a nigga like, hey, bro, the next time you come out here, you really gonna need security? Just move in silent, bro. Just catch a nigga when he's slipping type shit. I'm not, listen, I'm not promoting the violent, but... I just always find it funny when a rapper talk about you banned from my city. You can't come here. If you come here, you got to check in with me. Swear to God, I'm going to go to L.A. Nobody's going to do shit to me. I promise you, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, you think I'm scared of L.A.? 
What? I buddy jumped out the video years. like, I don't want I'm that smoke. Fuck you talking about okay. that old-ass motherfucker. You I ain't scared, I ain't scared too. Smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, right. but I'm going to have security smack the fuck out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm going to have security smack the fuck out of you and beat your ass. It's that simple, bro. I love all the Crips and Bloods in L.A. Everybody <laughs> Kendrick people have no beef. <laughs> you see Sneeko's ass. He wanted no parts. Now what he I'm wanted saying, no parts of that foolery. He stepped to the side. Of My dog say, fuck, what? Nigga, what? Fuck, bro, you by yourself on that one. Good. Said nah 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 me. Okay, nah, good nah. kid, Mad City was a decent album. Decent. <laughs> it was pretty good. I liked it. Whatever, bro. Look, you guys know how I feel about the music shit. Whatever. If an old head is really that mad because I'm choosing sides, whatever, bro. You're, you're like yeah, 50 years that? old. I don't know. Go start a family. Go 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 do some shit. Go 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 play poker or chess. One of the things students love about culinary school online with the Scopie is the toolkit. Our students can receive. You're old. All right, get off, get off the internet shit. It's not for you, buddy. Well, one, who is he calling? Oh, dang, oh. Right. And I swear to God, and I swear to God, I'm going to slap him. And even if his security is from LA, they're going to get slapped too. So if he comes with a lot of town security, they really going to get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just has put himself in this equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA. Please, brother, sister, I mean, auntie, please. Please, sweetie bye. Please. No fly zone. Somebody say pie? No fly zone. No fly zone. No fly zone. It's over for him. He inserted himself in something he can't take back. Mm. Damn. It's over. Well, it's over. Don't come to LA. Damn. It's over. The great no, mama, is and I, know, and, I, and I know a lot of motherfucking security people out here, so I will find out if he in the city. He better not stream or none of that nigga over. Pull up on ya. On my mama. There it is. The, the words that's are smacky. That's the goddamn smacky. bottom line to you. That's, that's, the, that's bottom the bottom line. line Steady on your ass. And I don't want no, hey, and I don't want no rebuttaling, nigga. Mm, there there ain't no rebuttaling. No backpedaling, no rebuttaling, huh? No apologies? Nah, nah. He said it, now he got to stand on it. This is true. It's up. Aiden Ross, AD, is a known Crip affiliate who's also locked in with Trail, who's a known Hoover affiliate. In a heated stream, Ross asserted that he's not banned from LA and expressed his intent to visit regardless of the threats. He indicated that he would have his security handle any potential confrontations. He said yeah. he's he he gonna have a security beat him up. See, he did put the shit I was talking about when I did my last reaction about Jack, whatever the frick that little kid's name is from the stream, right? How he goes around like just fucking with everybody and as soon as somebody comes to approach him and security comes in and save him this the shit that i'm talking about like how do y'all forget like bro do y'all not have family the wife and kids bro like you really really like you really gonna put your life in danger because some little kid don't know how to shut the fuck up you really gonna put your life in danger just because somebody don't know how to act online like hey man you know i got beef on this side so i'm taking about four security now, nigga, what if all your force security get clapped, nigga? What? I'm coming to L.A., nigga, do it I. Hey, the Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. Let me tell you something, AD. See? You can't stop I bullets, mean... bro. No matter how big your security guards are, bro, they will fall just like you. And that's the truth. He mentioned considering legal action against a podcaster who initially reported on the threats, emphasizing that his lawyer would address the issue. Hey, the Ross, let me, uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. So come do it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Bro, why even entertain this shit, bro? Like, come on, you don't live in L.A., you don't live in, in Cali, so why even entertain the bullshit, Aiden? Like, a nigga wanna talk out of his neck, let him talk out of his neck, bro. You almost, to me, you're almost sounding like Drake, like, like, y'all get a little money, y'all all of a sudden, y'all some thug, y'all some gangbangers, y'all, y'all, y'all calling fucking, what, a shot? Y'all shot callers in now? Like, bro, this shit funny as fuck, bro. Like. Your shitty life. Come on, let's try it. Let's, let's, let's make some magic happen. Come on, try it. At least you'll go to jail for, what, minimum five years in LA? What is it? I'll get, I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm a low-key see you for that. You want to, I can't wait. Yo. Let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. I promise you I'm serving you ASAP. Don't ever threaten my life again, you big bitch. Go start a... <laughs> bro, the man want to let, just let a nigga talk, bro. Just let a nigga run his mouth, bro. Like, 
What happened to sticks and stones? <laughs> can break my bone, but words can't. I probably said that wrong, but who, but who cares though? You feel me? Like, come on, kid. Like this the shit that I don't like. Like, you go from man, I can go to L.A. Y'all ain't finna do smack to me. I can, I can walk the street. I can I can stream. I can do all this to like, oh, they come do it. I'ma just get my lawyer on you, nigga. I mean, I'ma sue you. the family this podcast shit's not for you i'm not i'm not a gangster i'm not about that life at all that's why i said security's gonna do what they're gonna do but now i'm going straight to my lawyer bruh it's way past lawyers and it's way past courts this is the streets those are battle wounds and medals to them they don't care aiden they don't care in light of the drama fellow streamer phase banks offered his own support to aiden suggesting that he would help ensure his safety in la oh phase banks has called me Hey Banks, I'm live, what's good? What up, baby girl? Say hi to the chat. It's good to chat. Yeah, I just saw some crazy clip about somebody saying you're not good in LA. Yeah, some like fat guy. You need me to make a couple phone calls? Yeah, bro, that guy's that guy's nobody, but go ahead. You, you gotta be, I need you to be big brother at Banks and, and figure just, that out. Just to let you know you're always good in LA. Oh, I know. I'll walk down, down Melrose butt naked <laughs> with an eight, with Aiden Ross. Yo, honestly, what's up with some of these fruity ass, like, like, what's up, baby girl? Like, I walk butt naked down the, what's up with all that little fruity shit, bro? Tattooed on my chest. And we'll stream it and nothing will happen. That clip actually pissed me off. I know, like, who does he think he is, dude? Nah, no, you're good. You should, cut, you should come to a fucking... 72 hour live stream in LA. Yeah, just like in the streets. I'm actually down at this point just to piss that guy off. You're, you're, you're 100% good. That's crazy. Okay, first of all, let me show you the real face banks. <laughs> I didn't mean to. What the I fuck? Know, it's still annoying, dude. You always play around. Like, it's annoying, kind of. Like, when you get fucking hit in the face with the ball, like, it's annoying. You'd be pissed too, dude. I don't give a fuck what you hold say. On. You'd be pissed too. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah. But go ahead. Hold on, hold on. I'm going back because I ain't gonna lie. On my mind, listen, in my mind, I thought Buddy on the phone was some big, <laughs> like maybe some big dude tatted up. Like, I don't, I don't know, some kind of like Cali nigga looking type shit. You feel me? Like, let, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Uh, you, you gotta be, I need you to be big brother at Banks and, and figure just, that out. Just to let you know you're always good in LA. Oh, I know. I'll walk down Melrose butt naked with an eight, with Aiden Ross tattooed on my chest. And we'll stream it and nothing will happen. That clip actually pissed me off. I know, like, who does he think? And then I'm thinking that, you know, maybe you an affiliate. Maybe you, you know, you are active. Maybe you, you, you got mob tie type shit. You feel me? He is, dude. No, you're good. You should cut, you should come to a fucking... 72 hour live stream in LA. Yeah, just like in the streets. I'm actually down at this point just to piss that guy off. You're good. You're, you're 100% good. That's crazy. Okay, first of all, let me show you the real face banks. <laughs> I didn't mean to. What the I fuck? Know, but it's still annoying, dude. You always play around. Like, it's annoying, kind of. Like, when you get fucking hit in the face with the ball, like, it's annoying. You'd be pissed too, dude. I don't give a fuck what you said. You'd be pissed too. Yeah, but I wouldn't overreact. I'm not overreacting. If that's the nigga that was over the phone, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. He looked like a screamer, bro. He looked like the type of not not a streamer, a screamer. Like when I'm talking about, like if he get into an argument with him, like, ah, 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 he looked like he the type that's gonna be screaming. Like, oh uh, no. Acting, I'm just. It wasn't fun to get in the face. I'm letting you know. Whether you fix roofs, move boxes, or light up the room, Google Local Services ads makes it easier. Three days later. Dude, come the fuck on, man. Are you serious? <laughs> this guy. No cap. Listen, 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 listen. Y'all already know somebody with a short temper or somebody that don't even play that shit, especially if they're doing something, would have jumped out that feet and was like, bro, what the hell, man? Like, I'm trying to play my game. Guy right here is going to help Aiden. He's going to help support Aiden. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Faze Banks now. Yeah, him too. Oh, Faze Banks. Yeah, because he's talking about when he got a nigga, he can come high. 
All right, come on in. Walk your, <laughs> walk your ass down Melrose neck. It's like a punch. Hey, you seen that clip when niggas said you banned from L.A.? You ain't banned from shit. Yeah, all right. Where you from? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Chat, let me know where Faze Banks is from. lives here. Face oh, face <laughs> okay, I got hey, y'all got your, your face in my head, nigga. See your ass anywhere. Melrose, Hollywood. You probably live somewhere West Hollywood vibes. That nigga said I got my you. I got your face All in my head. <laughs> white privileged kids. You know what? Let me let me not say white, because this ain't got nothing to do with race. I'm talking about all of them, all races. White, black, blue, Hispanic, it don't matter. All these streamers are nerdy that were invited to the cookout and hung out with the rappers and it made them extra comfortable. And to the point that their fantasy of being down is now their reality. They really get caught up thinking they're untouchable and they'll quickly find out how wrong they are. For some reason in the hip hop industry, shit, even the world, social media, they speak freely and disrespect the LA area and even the Bay Area. When it's all said and done, sometimes you need to come down, come down back to reality. Draco the Ruler was stabbed to death by a gang of 60 plus blood members at a concert venue hosted by Live Nation. Majority of these security guards that work at venues or gets hired as bodyguards for affiliated. And streamers in the LA area, they are usually gang members and affiliates. Not only is it the rappers they're around, but it's also their security guards introducing them to the people and the lifestyle and make- Hey, I know y'all tired of me uh, positive, but I don't care. Hey, check this out, check this out, check this out. Can you imagine being in, let's just say, for example, right, just hypothetically speaking, you're in Aiden Ross shoes, right, and you're doing all this riff raffing about, nigga, I'm Gucci, I can go to L.A., da-da-da-da-da, right? Can you imagine if you go and get, like, you go to L.A. and you get, like, a couple of, like, fucking L.A. security, and then, like, the hood that you're beefing with or some shit, nigga, they just don't happen to be from that hood, so it's like, now, what do you do? You feel me? Like, oh, not nah, that, like, nah, bro, I, like, like, do you... <laughs> What Craig? What they do they think? I gotta live here. You don't. To the point where they don't think it's serious. Aiden Ross could hire a security guard right now that could basically set him up or delete him themselves. Their loyalty is to their game. Also, Nipsey Hussle was knocked off in his own neighborhood. PNB Rock knocked off in broad daylight at a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles while everyone ate breakfast. Pop Smoke robbed in the middle of the night and was deleted because he didn't cooperate by. Hold on, I thought. I thought they broke into his house broad daylight. I thought, I thought I, bro, I ain't gonna lie. From what I like, like from half the news that I hear from Cali, bro, it's like these niggas don't care, bro. It's like these niggas would do shit broad daylight with no faith, man, bro. And I don't know what is the freaking law or the like the not like, like you know everything have like a minimum of sentence for certain crimes. So I just feel like. Cali is lenient as hell on just anything because the buddy that smoke pop smoke, buddy that smoke pop smoke, it's out. I think he, I think they say he was a juvenile. That's why. A 15 year old kid. So do you feel like drugs played a part in the situation? Like why? Why did he end up getting shot anyway? Like why? Especially. If I don't feel like the drugs was part of the situation. You can sell this $5 spatula on Amazon and compete with hundreds of other spatula sellers. I don't know, we was just kids, being kids, being kids from the hood. That's all too much movement. As a movement from Pop Smoke. Movement from everybody. Like, I don't wake up in the morning and pay attention to this situation. It's in the back of my head, like what I did, like, I mean, but I'm not every day, that's, what they post and what they talk about uh just that social media be social media you see how this dude does not feel remorseful he does not care the gang life doesn't think like everyday people this is their culture they care about their name and how it holds weight in the streets they care about respect going to prison for the streets and dying for the streets are medals to them that's their youtube plaques that's their reward most of that's these people YouTube play plaque. gangs because they have nothing their overall goal is to become street legends and talk about it for generations so for aiden to disrespect all of la because of your pride and your ego and 
and unawareness of how serious this can get is so ignorant and very dangerous. This is now beyond Kendrick and Drake. This is beyond hip hop. This is gang shit. Sometimes an apology won't cut it. And I don't know who FaZe Banks think he is, but he will face consequences for what he said as if he ran LA, whether it's getting pressed or getting taxed. Now, if you're wondering why these guys are so uptight about Kendrick and Drake's beef, Drake has been tied to streamers way back since 2017. He is co-owner of the famous gaming group 100 Thieves created by OG Cop player Nadeshot as of October 23rd, 2018. Drake has been friends and linked to Face Bakes, Aiden Ross, and other high profile gamers for years. Let's just take a break from this real quick. Like, what's up the hair? Like, like, the clips. Like, my boy, what are you... Let me stop. I'm, now it's like I'm just bothered for the hell of this. So because they're friends, they feel the need to step in the beef. All these breakdowns for Drake's family matters, for people like What's the Dirt, who aren't in this culture, fail to realize once Drake started to name drop, who are gang members? You know who really bang a set, my nigga YG. You know who even bang a set out there, CB. Turned this beef into not rap. It turned it into gang politics. If you listen to Kendrick's diss records, he not once mentioned anything gang related. He only called out Drake's character. So the narrative that academics created and hyped up Drake and calling people goons for Drake or even for Kendrick, he created a fantasy la la land for people to think that it was a serious rap beef between two individuals. And once Drake bit that bait and started to bring up gang politics and Kendrick responded at the Kennedy and Friends concert all flamed up, it officially went past the rap beef. And these nerd ass streamers don't understand this. What's happening right now, these rap fans who don't live this lifestyle listen to these artists while living in their rich bubble and they get too comfortable and they think and feel that they know what's really going on, making offensive comments, acting like the shit isn't real. And when something gets serious, then they backtrack like talk down on these politics saying things like oh well you're just gonna get arrested like Aiden did even though they were just nodding their heads and listening to the same politics now they try to downplay it talking about suing people and pulling that white privilege card we'll say they pulled their civilian card oh and don't forget the excuse of their age as if they're not a grown ass man popping their gums don't go run and try and become a citizen threatening with lawyers after shit gets serious that will really really fuck you up. You gonna really fuck around and find out. These grown ass adults trying to compare age gaps, comparing 22 through 40 years old as if that makes a difference. Who the fuck decided that they are a child forever and you wonder why predators exist? That's a mental problem. You're grown as fuck at 22. If you did a crime today, you would be in prison with every, every age in the book. You'll be in prison as a grown adult. So speeding up to today, Aiden apologizes. Guys, I've been, uh, I've been talking to people from LA. Uh, I'm I'm actually coming to LA in about a, probably like a couple of weeks, but I do want to I do want to clarify and, and, and take a step back and really, you know, in the moment, obviously, I was talking crazy and shit. Um, I don't I didn't realize Aiden got the the without the Canada flag type shit in the background, right? Like right here. Like hold on, look, 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 right here, right here, right. That's the Canada shit. God damn, Aiden, your knees don't hurt. Don't. I'm I'm not necessarily apologizing to people I was talking towards, but I do want to say one thing. LA is to not be fucked with. LA is a serious place, and I love LA. Seriously, I love LA. Um, now, I'm not folding. I still say fuck you to the people that were coming at me. Fuck you. Um, but I, I'm not saying fuck you to, to all of LA, because I'm not even joking, bro. People that are uh, in a certain amount of group, rappers, uh, specifically the rapper you guys know I'm talking about, you guys like to pedestal a bunch of these rappers. Bro, LA is is deeper than that, bro. There's a lot of dangerous people out in LA. They don't even talk on the internet. They don't even have an internet. They don't even have. They don't even care about the internet. People All right, then just sue their ass too. Ain't that what you're gonna do? Just sue. Get your lawyers on there. Why are you scared all of a sudden, nigga? I thought you were the shit, nigga. Can't nobody what? People don't talk on the internet. So I was never trying to disrespect LA. I love LA, bro. I love LA. Probably the best. I love California, bro. The the the, the weather is the best there. You know, I love Los. Aiden Ross sound like a little kid starting to study. The, uh, I, I, my little son, right? Whenever like he does something and I'm getting on to him and I'm talking to him, I, 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 but, 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 but. The issue is, um, and I, yeah, I don't live there anymore, but I'm not folding. I'm really not. It's still fuck you to the people that I was talking to. The problem was I, I was saying that I'm going to go there and LA not on shit. Uh, LA is on shit for real. 
Um, I don't want anyone taking me serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking, uh, I'm, I'm a nerdy white streamer. Kid. No, 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 don't just say that. I'm a nerdy white streamer. I'm a little boy from the sub, man. I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not built like that. No, no, stop you. I'm telling y'all, that shit is not gonna be getting really far. And that shit would not get y'all really far. I'm just a nerdy kid from the suburb. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I was just, bro, no, you do know what you're talking about, bro. Come on, stop. You guys using this little term, I'm just a little white, whatever. I'm just a little black, Asian, whatever the fuck you want to use it. You guys are basically making it okay for other kids that, for other kids to go do the same shit. And when things get serious, oh, I'm I'm just I don't I, I don't know no better. I'm just I'm just a little kid from the no. You know, right? All right. So none of you guys take me seriously, please. Now, it's still fuck you to the people uh, that were still coming at me on that podcast. Fuck you, because you guys aren't on shit. I did the whole background research on all you guys. You guys are fat, low life losers, big bitches. This shit isn't a game. Niggas are starving out here. Aiden, what did your favorite rapper say again? My dog will probably do it for Louis Bell. That's just all he know. He don't know nothing else. The difference is, I'm talking about real niggas, not the facade that Drake portrays. Only a couple of days ago, the killer of Young Dolph, which was sentenced to life in prison, only received an $800 payment for the job. And guess what? He was proud to not have snitched. All for $800. Only $800. So much could happen to Aiden for very little. Aiden Ross streams his whereabouts all the time. It's not hard to find him. You know what? RIP Money Sign Sway. RIP Nipsey Hustle. RIP Pop Smoke. RIP Draco the Ruler. RIP PNB Rock. All these artists that were high profile, rich artists died in the heart of LA. All these artists passed away in LA. How many have to die? I know this has nothing to do with LA, but just just because you're sitting there talking about you know rest in peace Nipsey, rest in peace Pop Smoke, I just want to say uh, rest in peace Mo Three, rest in peace King Von, um, rest in peace Quavo, not Quavo, my bad. Take was it Offset? No, it was Quavo. It was Take Off. I can't remember one. One of the Migos. All right, R.I.P. I just I just wanted to say that because hey, listen, we can't forget about some of these other good rappers. Will it take for y'all to get it? Stop talking hard, bruh. Stop talking hard. I mean, what does it have to be? Streamers next? Adam22 and academics are obviously extorted. That's why they're capable of talking so reckless, because they are protected by a gang. They are extorted. However, Aiden Ross is not extorted. And the reason why I know he isn't is because when Playboy Cardi walked out with that two million and stole that shit from him, he wouldn't have been able to walk out. He wouldn't have been able to take that money without some that sort of consequence crazy. or issue created in general. No consequences happened. No phone calls made. He literally hit a big ass lick on Aiden Ross, stealing $2 million. No one slid for Aiden. Let me explain. When you're extorted by the gang you're affiliated with, they expect their cut or percentage from any deal you do. So robbing Aiden is basically robbing the gang. They would make it their problem. The real issue is, is that people that Aiden is hanging around, like Drake and academics, they're hyping dude up. They're going to get him hurt. People like I Show Speed, who is his real friend, stopped him from doing things on stream to get him caught up in game politics. <laughs> nah, you got to be one of these, Robbie. Oh, that Stop looks so cool. No, 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 <laughs> It took me a minute to fuck with I I speed or hold on, I, I'm not gonna lie. It took me a minute to fuck with Buddy, okay? Because I just sometimes his energy was a little too, a little too off the wall, a little too aggressive for no reason sometimes. But more and more, I don't know why, but I think I would pick him over Kai. I, I, that's just my opinion over Kai and Ada Ross. Like, yes, there's sometimes he be doing some weird shit, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like, I don't know. <laughs> nah, you gotta be one of these, Robbie. Oh, that Stop looks so cool. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 People like DDG, who is his real friend. Is me throwing up any of that crib shit? Like, is it bad? Like, I, I, I don't actually. What? I don't know why the fuck you was doing that. What? Now, what if it's a nigga? Look, 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 look. It's probably, it's probably a stone cold crib watching this right now. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna see that nigga. Man, Cali, this is like gangland. This is where, it, this is where it happens at. 
You throwing up one of the, one of the things. Yeah, but I was forced. You wasn't forced. fucking forced. You never forced to do anything. You're a grown ass man. You don't have to do shit that you don't want to do. People like academics and Drake, they think it's funny. They're utilizing this man as their pawn to spread the hate that they want to spread, which is going to cost Aiden Ross's life. He needs to realize who really cares about him and who's really around him and who's using him. Because it's clear that Aiden is using academics to stay involved in the hip hop politics. And it's obvious academics is using Aiden for streams and views. I'm just saying it is what it is. All right, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. If not, who cares? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Talk y'all shit on the on the comment. You feel me? Follow your boy on Twitch and hit up my TikTok. All that. Oh my God.